I'm Alex Guerra, Alexander Guerra. Uh, I am from Miami. I'm Cuban American. Um, I am co owner of this hotel, Hotel Gathering on Miami Beach. I'm an artist and I'm a ginger. One story I always like to say is that I, I think I was like in first grade. And, uh, you know, it, it's there's a, a coming of, of age in a sense of. of, of uh, realizing self so uh, I remember these little girls were talking about this one kid in, in class and how cute he was and I identified and I, I completely knew what they were talking about and I agreed with them. I was self-aware that I wasn't supposed to um, but all of those check marks on why they thought that boy was cute and I, I had my own mental checks on, on uh, agreeing with them. It must have been uh, ingrained uh, somehow at home. I, I, I always say that growing up gay is, is, is survival. And it's very much, I like to think of it as like a, you throw someone into the jungle and uh, you know the first thing they have to do is try to camouflage themselves and, and be a part of what's normal around, just not to draw attention. And I. I feel like that's what growing up gay was. I'm not exactly sure that's how it is right now. I'm sure it's much better, uh, depending on where you're from, though. My partner, Stefan, is, uh, we have a 17-year age difference. Um, we met when I was 23, and his background is in hotels. So I was working creative at MTV. Um, I worked for New York and LA. And we did creative for websites, for TV shows. Um, somewhere around the time, I believe it was two years, almost two years within our with, into our relationship, I capped where I was working, and it was either move to LA uh, or stay capped, you know, in the in where I, where I was doing uh, with what I was doing. And uh, Stefan at that time really had this dream. And his dream was to create this place, this safe haven, haven where you know gay people could gather, gather, right? Um, which is essentially what we've always done, like when we find each other, right? But how amazing is it to just put it in everyone's face and you know have a building that has a sign that says gathering, you know and and say I'm not only going to do this gay hotel, but I'm going to put gay in the name, which I have yet to find another place, that, or even a gay bar. I mean, it would be great to find a gay bar that's called Gay Bar. <laughs> <laughs> so we decided our hotel would be, you know, this place where it, it wasn't a secret. Uh, everyone is to feel safe. Um, that's not to mean that some people get out of line and we have to you know, bottom of the island. Um, but it's it's uh, it's really this place where you say you walk around with a smile, it's like, I want to see everyone here walking around with a smile. Um, it's tough out there. In here, we should be safe. I, the biggest misconception, which I find uh, odd, but at the, at the same time, I'm like, okay, I, I, I can see that, is that it's a fetish hotel. And that's because of the artwork. Um, but in that one is, is fu it's funny to me because I mean I'm, it's it's you're telling the artist that he's weird. But I had, I had already been doing artwork and I not realizing that I was putting bunnies in all the artwork. So going back to the artwork being provocative, yeah, a part of it I want you to feel like that's really sexy but feel wrong about it. Like, why? Why do I? F and, and I want you to, to either want to be with the rabbit or want to be the rabbit. And characters, bunny rabbits, and, and, and throughout history and story all have some little bit of mischief or uncertainty or, or you have a little bit of mystery. So you have like this white rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. Where do you come from? And why is he here? And yeah, I want to follow him. Uh, 13 year old me. So 
that's gonna be okay. I think that's the biggest one. I kind of always knew inside of me, and that's probably where that light comes from, was that I would charge through anything. So I would tell, yeah, 13 year old me that, uh, keep coloring. <laughs> I, I always lit up with, with crayons. So yeah, keep coloring and have patience.